Wow, this is a beautiful piece. It is really a beautiful piece. This is the Greg Black um, Heavyweight 2G in gold. And it has my name written on it, so it makes it even more beautiful. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, but hey, welcome guys, welcome back to the channel. If uh, this is the first time we meet, my name is Raf and on this channel we talk a lot about brass playing, we talk about peak performance, we talk about nerves, we talk about equipment, we talk about everything around brass playing and trombone in particular, but all brass playing, really. We also do some arrangements uh, for little ensembles and bigger ensembles. Um, and yeah, if this is the first time that you join, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I think you'll enjoy our content. So today I want to talk a little bit about this mouthpiece. I don't know if you've noticed, I'm wearing the same shirt, it's the same background. Yes, I am doing a thousand videos today. It's raining like crazy outside. I've took out some of my old cases. I thought, hey, I'm going to show you my old cases, what they look like, how they feel, if there's could be a good case for you. And then I thought about my mouthpieces, you know, I, I saw the monet on my valve trombone, and then I saw the Greg, the the Wrath in the box that I've not used for, that I've never Ever actually used and then I saw this one and this one was actually a really really cool one for me it's one of my favorite mouthpieces in the world in fact Greg Black makes the best mouthpieces in the world and I'm not being facetious uh, <laughs> no again like I always say in all my videos there is no such thing as the perfect mouthpiece there's no such thing as the best mouthpiece the mouthpiece is the most personal piece of equipment that you can ever own, uh, no matter your instrument, no matter everything. First of all, you are the instrument. This is just an amplifier. You are the instrument. You are the sound. You are the intonation. You are the expression. You are the musicianship. You are the rhythm. You are everything. The equipment is really... it doesn't really matter so much. But, you know, if you're like me, you like to geek a little bit on those kind of things, and you like to try different, different pieces of equipment. Now, I don't really try any more mouthpieces because I found my perfect mouthpiece. It's not this one, it's uh, the bigger brother to this one, it's the 138 of Greg Black, it is so comfortable and it is only the medium uh, the medium weight. So, why this heavy weight? Well, the heavy weight is supposed to give you a little bit more resonance, it's supposed to give you a little bit more center, and it's supposed to give you a little bit more projection. Because it is more dense, because there's more material, um, it deals with the vibration in, uh, in a different way than if it was very light and very small. Now, for the exact science, please Google it, because I don't have it in my head. I could go online and I could read it to you, but that would be boring. Boring, so you can do your own research if you want. But for my experience, my personal experience, I find that those heavy mouthpieces do uh, get you um, get you a more resonant, more projective, and more centered sound. But but there's a but. Of course, there's a but. Otherwise, everybody would play on these. I feel that you have to work a little bit harder, and I'm lazy. I'm so lazy um, that I went to a smaller. Uh, weight of mouthpieces, but in general, this is an amazing piece, an amazing, amazing piece. Now, the main reason that I don't play this anymore is not because of the heavy weight. The main reason is just because 2G was a little bit too small. So, you, if you know a little bit about me, you know that my main instrument is the cello. So when I switched mouthpieces, wait, the cello? Yeah, it was actually the cello, and this was my first instrument. My first in brass instrument was the euphonium, and then I switched to the valve trombone, and on the valve trombone I was playing on this little guy, the TS6, the TS6 from Monet, the Prana TS6, uh, so it is really much smaller, of course, and then when I went to bass trombone, I switched to the, gray, to the, to the Bach 3G, and that felt enormous, but after a few months, it smelled. It smelled. Smelled bad. After a few months, it felt uh, a little bit small. So I went and switched to the 2G, and then that felt a little bit small. So I bought the one and a quarter uh, G from uh, Michael Rath, one and a quarter, um, which was a little bit too big. So then I got a Bach one and a half G, which is, was still a little bit too small. And then Greg Black, our savior. Uh, came up with the 138 and I've had this for years and I've never moved since. Uh, I've been using this mouthpiece forever. Now, the only reason I wanted to make a review about this uh, mouthpiece is just if you're looking for something around the realm of a 2G. So, Greg Black's 2G, 
uh, again, Google it because I don't have the exact dimensions, but uh, it is a tiny, weensy, tiny, weensy bit bigger than the Bach equivalent. So if you're looking for a Bach 2G and you're thinking of getting this, just be aware that it might be a little bit deeper and then the rim might be like maybe a half a millimeter bigger. Again, I don't have the charts. It would be boring for me to just read you the charts. Um, but this is a very, very good alternative. Uh, the Bach Moth pieces are very good, but obviously this is not the same price. Uh, in fact, this is maybe four times the prices of Bach 2G. Uh, but is it worth it? Yeah, I think so. I, I absolutely think so. Uh, you know, you know me by now, I hope maybe you do if it's the first time. Hey, uh, but if you know me, I always tell you, you know, your your instrument. If you need to improve something on your playing, improve your air, improve your way of practicing, improve your technique. Uh, if you need to improve your range, just like study how uh, what part of your mouth need to vibrate in what register, you know, we always talk about not and uh, no shifts or anything, but a slight movement of the jaw uh, going uh, forward, lower jaw going forward for the low register and vice versa, you know, uh, without making all those crazy shifts that I see some people do. Um, so you are the instrument and but 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 yeah, I think that this 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 mouthpiece does uh, does help a little bit. First of all, uh, throughout the register from pedal notes to double pedal notes to uh, high notes to double high notes um, the, 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 the intonation is good. Well, the intonation depends on you again, but this does help. You don't need to shift, you don't need to move so much, you don't need to adjust so much. Of course it has to do with you and it has to do with your instrument, but this mouthpiece does provide a good um, comrade. Is a good comrade to your playing? Can I say that? Can I say that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it does help. I like this mouthpiece. I like this mouthpiece a lot. In fact, I don't use it, but I'll never sell it. Um, I've had sometimes, but this is only between you and me. Don't tell anybody. I always tell people, don't switch mouthpieces. Don't switch mouthpieces. Just choose one mouthpiece and stick to it. I've had some times where I have had to play some high register things after like eight hours of playing and I was just dead. And I took this little guy out, put it on my bass trombone and continued with my high register things. It did help. It did absolutely help. Um, so, you know, th this is only for an extreme case. Uh, for a normal case, please just stick to your mouthpiece, practice on your mouthpiece. Um, otherwise, you know, you know, <laughs> just don't do it. Okay, that's it for today's video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please put a thumbs up. If you have not, please put a thumb down. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. And if you've not done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Why am I asking you to subscribe to the channel? Well, it just means, for me, it just means, hey, you're doing a good job, continue. Continue making videos, continue making people happy. Uh, and continue talking about the trombone and why the trombone is the best instrument in the world. And it's not. Is it? I don't know. And uh, yeah, it's just for a little bit of support. So yeah, take care and I'll see you soon. Ciao.